Shalom, shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel. Before I get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught us this truth. To the hope to taught that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird. Tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shut them on, right? So this is your brother Shopper, man. So yeah, so I seen this one. Black South Carolina couple. Look at the date. Look at the date. <laughs> Look at the date. <laughs> and not, and not 1823, 1923, 2023. Black South Carolina couple finds burning cross in front of their house. According to Fox News, Fox News Carolina, a South Carolina couple has been rattled by a racist incident involving their neighbors. Sean and Monica Williams no longer feel safe in Micah 2 and 10. Arise and depart. This is not our rest. Monica Williams no longer feels safe. In their neighborhood after they came out during Thanksgiving weekend to find a burning cross outside their home. Monica recalled there was a cross burning about eight feet from our fence. We were speechless because we've never experienced something like that. Although the this incident was traumatic, Monica and Sean said it wasn't completely out of nowhere after the couple moved to Conway two years ago. For their retirement, they, they experienced repeated incidents of racism from their neighbors. Monica explained, he's, he's blatant with the N-word. He chased off our surveys. He's chased off people from the water and sewer department. The Williams even installed a fence around their yard to try to keep some semblance of peace. The neighbor's 28-year-old... The neighbor's 28-year-old... Warden Butler and his 27-year-old 20 Alexa Harnett continued to escalate and, and recently burned a cross in front of their home. Yeah, I seen a picture of them, I think. I think I seen a picture of them, but you know how YouTube get. YouTube got to be easy with this lesson because YouTube are even... Nah, that ain't it. YouTube will even turn around and say, I'm hate speeching. <laughs> Just showing a picture. Um, the police report detailed that Warden previously posted the Williams address online and said he would like to make them pay. Wow. Wow. And they young. Only 27. The, the people that they claim did this, 28 or 27. Dress would make them pay. Alexis was arrested for assault for disorderly conduct in the past, so the pair have now been hit with second-degree harassment charges. However, Monica and Sean don't believe that their neighbor's arrest is enough to fix the issue. Monica expressed they, Alex and Warden, were out the next day. Yeah, I seen $500 bail. They only got a $500 bail for this. So what are uh, what are we to do? Live next to cross burning racists who threatened to cause us bodily harm. We feel that there are not enough laws in place to deal with this. Well, if y'all, if you, if, 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 if the funny thing is, if that same black couple was a claim to be LBGTQ or small hatters, it would something would be done about it. Something be something more more things would be done for sure. Further legal re repercussions cannot be brought against Alex and Warden since South Carolina is one of two U.S. states without a specific hate crime law. Oh yeah, we could get it on in SC. <laughs> we could get it on in SC. It's popping down here. But yeah, this is what they do, man. Ain't nothing new under the sun. This is what they do. This is what Esau do. This is what they do. So that that the spirit, they spirit is back. Yeah, it's what they do. Let's get some scriptures. <laughs> Let's get some scriptures. Yeah, like I said, I gotta be easy. 
you I'm on two strikes on my main. I got one on my backup. So I got to be easy. YouTube be, oh, you're, you're, you're hate speeching. You're hate speeching. That's why I didn't show their picture. 23, Jeremiah. 13 and 23. Can an Ethiopian change his skin or leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Yeah, they they not. This is what they this is what they do, man. This is what they do. This is what they do, man. Not four forty seven and six. This is what they do. This is what Esau do. Isaiah forty seven and six. I was wrong for my people. I have polluted my inheritance. I given and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end. Yeah, man. They, they, they still, they still, they, look. All of the shit going on in this world, right in, in America, period. Racist motherfuckers still finding a way to be racist toward Jake. Your country is for your the, America is in shambles, but you still um blaming Jake for buying a house and wanting to mind his business and live live. You still blaming Jake. You still finding a way to blame Jake. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. It's straight ridiculous. But, hey, Esau always had that hate going all the way back. Esau always had that hate in his heart. Always had that hate in his heart. Genesis 27 and 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Unto Esau, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven up from above, and by thy sword shall thy live. The weapon, the weapon, intimidation, intimidation, threats, violence, deception, thievery, rape, pillage, plunder. That's what. That's how they live. And by the sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, deep inside, Esau and Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother. This is Esau. This is how he felt. This is how he felt. This is this is how Esau felt, man. And it's still in him to this day. So you expecting him to be different. You expecting him to change. No, it's in his DNA, deep down in his heart, to hate his brother. Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners enter into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was one of as one of them. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother, in the day that he became a stranger, neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction, neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. That's, that's, you still, like I said, going back to my point, America is crumbling. All of the other countries is getting together, the BRICS nations and all that. The dollar is crumbling. Food prices is up. You barely can make it here, but these little dirtball Edomites is burning crosses, still still picking on Jake. <laughs> still picking on Jake. Like, why? Why? Like, why is you picking on Jake? I still running the country. 
oh, Biden, Trump. It's still an Edomite running the country. And it's still Edomites running the world. But Jake still, but you still got, hey, he's still picking on Jake. Still picking on Jake. Get this one and close out. Ezekiel 35. Ezekiel 35 and 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And say unto it, thus saith the Lord power. Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Why? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their inequity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. Let's get this one one more time. The tide is saying, Mount Seir is Edom. Genesis 36 and 1. Now these are the generations of Esau. Who is Edom? Esau is Edom. Go down. 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. So when you see prophesy against Mount Seir, that's pretty much saying prophesy against Esau. Son of man, set thy face against a Mount Seir and prophesy against it. The mount, the government, the mountain of um the, the government of Esau. Who is who is Mount uh, who is Mount Seir? Who is Edom? Esau is Edom. So yeah, so this is we still in we still in 2023, December 16th, 2023, and you got Edomites out here putting up crosses, burning them in Jake in Jake Long, cause they upset, cause Jake retired and bought bought property next to them. So, yeah, so with that one, man, we're going to close out. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rukah Kwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. And it's funny, man, it's funny. You know, the, the clan got the cross, and they using it and burning it and this and this and that or whatever the case. And then you'll have a black Christian going to come out there with the same cross on, talk about, don't hate your neighbor, don't hate them, don't hate them, pray for them. Through, man. Shalom, Israel.